Y'all ready to have a test? If I can have everybody sit down, please. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you all. Good afternoon. My name is Maria Sachs, and I wonder if I can have the audience please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Is Wendy here? Wendy, could you start us with the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Diane. Welcome, South Florida, to Education Forward, a summit on the status of Florida's public school education. Let no one doubt that South Florida does not care about education. Every ticket has been taken for today's afternoon. Most of the folks who will be coming later on, thank you. And thank you. This is all about Florida's education. Most of the folks who will be coming later on are from our school teachers, from the various schools, and many of the students will be coming after school. This event today is being simulcast to the School of Education at Harvard University in Cambridge. And I want all those folks there in Massachusetts to know that Florida beaches are open. <laughs> We're ready for business. It is also being live cast to the members of the Florida House, the Florida Senate, and the Office of Governor Scott and our state's capital in Tallahassee. And I'm just still learning how to use my Blackberry, so I'm, I'm impressed with this new technology. In the next few hours, we will all be part of a conversation. A conversation that will take place with some of the most noted lecturers, experts, noted and respected journalists, government officials from Washington, the U.S. Department of Education, as well as from Tallahassee, the Florida Department of Education. And we will all take part with them in the discussion about the critical needs of Florida's public education. As I promised you, this is not a series of lectures. We're not going to be discussing mortgage foreclosures or insurance. We're going to be discussing the most important thing to every mother and father in this state, and that is our children. As such, when Senate Bill 6 was being debated in the Florida House, and I was on that committee, I kept saying, where are the stakeholders? Where are the parents? Where are the teachers? Where are the students? Where are the union holders? Where are those who have tenure? Where are those who started charter schools? We need to be part of this dialogue. Therefore, this is a discussion, not a lecture. There will be opinions expressed here today that you won't agree with, and I may not agree with. But we will keep an open mind, because only in this way will we become a part of the discussion that will ultimately lead to legislation that will change Florida's education as we know it today. If you want to participate in today's dialogue, and if you have a cell phone or a laptop, you can email a question to sachseducation at, at gmail.com. I'll repeat that. Sachseducation at gmail.com or inside your brochures is a little green paper. It has lines on it. You can write it out the old-fashioned way, like I learned in school. You can write it out and you can pass it to the end. There will be members of the Blue Ribbon Education Committee who will pick them up and give them to us. And that way, you can participate 
in this dialogue. Those in the live audience today, and I want to put this on the record, include members of the Palm Beach County School Board, members of the Broward County School Board, members of Duval County School Board, and members of Dade County School Boards. We have representatives from the following unions, Palm Beach County Classroom Teachers Association, the FEA, the United Federation of Teachers, and the United Teachers of Dade. We also have community leaders. You know, I've said many times, I have one of the best and the brightest districts in the entire state of Florida because I have people in District 30 who are retired school superintendents, they are um, retired executives, engineers, retired union members, and they come to me to give me advice because there's so many things I don't know. And they form the basis for my Blue Ribbon Committee. They also form the basis for community leaders like COBRA, Ken Lassiter, who's here today, and many other members of COBRA. We have the Alliance of Delray here today, an organization of homeowners and cooperatives of thousands of people. And that's Robert Schulbaum who's here, and Ed Berger, and Laura Meisen, Barbara Z, Margie Walton. We also have United South County represented today. President Emeritus, Marie Kalish, and Harry Roch. We have the Democratic members of the Democratic Executive Committee here today. Mark Siegel and Buddy Steinman. We also have Century Village represented here today by Marvin Manning. These are, these are the people right here in the front who give me so much uh, advice and policy decisions and criticisms at times too. And I welcome all of you. So today, without wasting any more time listening to me, I'm going to introduce to you the chairman of the Palm Beach County School Board who will introduce our keynote speaker, a well-known lecturer, a former assistant secretary of education for the United States. Uh, I'm not going to tell you her name. I'm going to let Frank Barbieri do it. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to our chair of the Palm Beach County School Board, Frank Barbieri. chairing the school board of, a, of the 11th largest school district in the United States is the opportunity to meet and forge friendships with some of the brightest and most well-respected educators in the United States, and of course, the privilege of introducing them at important events such as this one today. Before I introduce our keynote speaker, I'd also like to recognize that in the audience, we have the superintendent of the Palm Beach County School System, Ms. Uh, Dr. Arthur Johnson. Dr. Johnson, you can. The remarkable woman I'm honored to interview.